Today on the How To series, I will show you how to create a simple pocket chart activity that can be found on Mimeo Connect. A user recently wrote in asking for help in creating this activity, and perhaps you've needed something similar. When I unlock and ungroup the text and shapes on this page, you can see that the image consists of boxes and circles that each have a black outline and a blue fill. Those are created with the shape tools like this. I will change the shape tool to a rectangle. You'll notice that it has a black outline and a blue fill selected. I will drag that shape onto the page and resize if needed. If I right click again, I can choose the circle, add the circle at the top of the page. To make the line, just change it back to line. And then the new Mimeo Studio 8 feature is once you've drawn a line, you can select it and change it down here either to a dash or a square dotted line. Now I would drag over the entire chart, selecting all of the images here. Go up to Format, Grouping, and Group so that now the entire chart moves as one image. The letter boxes that are at the bottom of the page are created by drawing text boxes and then changing the letter box fill by selecting the letter and in this case the user requested that consonants be one color and vowels be another. I'm going to increase the outside border width by dragging the slider here and then if I right click on each letter box and select clone there will be an infinite number of each of these letters available for students to drag up to the chart. Once you have them all cloned, simply select them all, right click, go to locking, and the blue border disappears and now each of the letters can be dragged up an infinite number of times. Watch part two of this series to learn how to add the letter boxes to your gallery and use them from there as another option for this activity.